Okay, so we are going to do a proof. We are going to prove that the open ball BXR and a metric space X is an open subset of X. So this open ball, this is a ball centered at X of radius R. So here, BX comma R, this is the set of all Y in capital X such that the distance between x and y is less than r. So graphically, you can think of it in two dimensions as, let's say, this is x, and then you have some open ball here of radius r. So it's all of these points in here. This, is, this picture you see here is an open disk, so a disk would be in, in two dimensions. Okay, and a sphere would be in three dimensions, and the problem is, you know, the dimensions just go up, and we don't really have a picture, so we just call them balls instead of spheres or disks. All right, so we have to show it's an open subset of X. So this set is open if it contains all of its interior points. So I'm just going to refresh your memory on some definitions, and then we're going to jump into the proof. So recall we say X in capital X is an interior point of say some subset Y of capital X. If there's some open ball centered at capital X of radius R that's contained entirely in Y. So if there exists say some R greater than zero such that you have this open ball centered at X that is contained entirely in Y. So what does that mean? That basically means the following. So let's say that this is Y and you have a point here X. So X will be an interior point if you can find some radius R such that there's an open ball contained entirely uh, in Y. And then we'll just put a little R there. So we say a set is open if it contains all of its interior points. Okay, so that's, that's key. So we say y a subset of x is open in x if y contains all of its interior points. All right, now we're ready to do the proof. And the proof is not hard, but it does require some thought and we're gonna do it by drawing a picture and giving uh, an argument, a geometric argument. So proof. So we'll start by taking an element in this set. And so I'll say take any Y in this open ball. And now we have to show that Y is an interior point of this set. So if you look up here uh, by an interior point, uh, we mean that we need to find some radius R such that there's a ball centered at Y that's contained entirely in this set, because this is our Y, right, in the definition, this here. So let me just say what we need. So we need an R greater than zero such that BYR is contained in BXR. So that's what we need. This is not part of the proof. I'm just going to put it in parentheses, but that's what we need to find, right? If we can find that, then we've basically shown that for every Y in this set, um, it's also an interior point. So every element of the set is an interior point uh, because this is what it means for Y to be an interior point of this set. Okay, so we have to show this is true. So let's draw a picture. So let's draw a picture of this. So this is X. And then let's say we pick a point Y here, which we've picked here, this is our Y. And then this distance here, well, this big distance here, this is the radius, right? So this is R. This distance here is the distance between X and Y. So if we pick this Y, we want to find some open ball centered at Y. So basically, what is this radius here? That's going to be the radius of our ball, this thick radius here, which I'm making really thick. 
let's call that capital R. And so graphically, geometrically, we can see that this distance is the big distance r minus this distance here. So this is r minus d of x, y. So I'm going to say set r equals little r minus d of x, y. Okay. And we should note that that is positive. Okay. So note y in bxr implies well, what does it mean to be in this set? It means that the distance between x and y is less than r. So it means this is true. So if you subtract this from both sides, so r equals r minus d of x, y is positive, right? Because if you subtract that, you just basically get r minus d of x, y, and that's greater than zero because you're subtracting it from both sides. So r is positive, so it's a legit radius, right? That, that's key. So it's a radius that we can work with. All right, so now we still have to show that um, you know there's there's a open ball contained in this. So our claim is going to be that the open ball, okay, centered at y of radius r, is contained in this one. All right, again, we're trying to show it's an interior point. So that means we're trying to show that there's some open ball centered at y of some positive radius that's contained entirely in this. So we have to show this is a subset of this. That means we basically have to show that every element in this set is also in this set. So I'll say take any w in this set here. So then, what does that mean? That means that the distance between y and w is less than r. Okay. Now we have to show w is in this set. That means we need to look at the distance between x and w. So then the distance between x and w, right, we have to show that this is less than little r. That's what it means for w to be in this set. Well, we can use the triangle inequality. This is the distance between x and y plus the distance between y and x. This is by the triangle inequality. Triangle inequality. Okay. And let's keep this one because we know something um, about this one, don't we? We should. Yeah, we do. We know that this one is less than r. So this is less than d of x, y plus r. But what's r? We define r to be this. So this is equal to d of x, y plus r minus d of x, y. And look, these cancel, so this is equal to r. So we have that the distance between x and w is less than little r. Hence, that's exactly what it means for w to be in the ball centered at x of radius r. So we started with a W in this set, and we showed it's in this set. This holds for all W. So this shows that the ball centered at Y of radius big R is contained in the ball centered at X of radius little r. So basically, what we've done is we've shown that Y is an interior point. We took any Y in this set right here, okay, and we showed that there exists some r greater than zero, such that the ball centered at y of radius r is contained in this set here. So given any y in this set, we found a ball of positive radius that's contained in this set centered at this element. That's precisely what it means for y to be an interior point. So thus, this, this means y is an interior point of bxr, or b of x comma r. And since this holds for all y, um, this is open. So since this holds for all y in the set, 
we have that BXR is an open subset of X. Open subset of X. And this is, this is not um, you know, a very complicated proof. I just went really slowly and tried my best to explain all of the pieces so that if you're learning, hopefully this will help you a little bit. So yeah, hopefully this helps someone on their topology journey.